Hello everybody. Uh, this morning I went out to the barn and there were two new baby chicks that hatched in the incubator. So I prepared a, a brooding pen for them. And this morning I needed to get a water, something that will automatically water them with quite a bit of water to last a week or so. And so I'm gonna do this what my dad taught me like uh, 65 years ago. And I'll show you how you make one out of a just a plastic cup <clears throat> and an old gallon jar lid. So what we're going to do is uh, make an automatic water, and I'll show you how this works. So first, you come to your stove and you turn it on. And you get an ice pick. Get an ice pick here and uh, heat it up. Once I heat it up, I'm going to put four holes in this cup. Just little holes right at the rim. Because I don't want the water to be real deep in this water. Put one more hole, two more holes. Okay. Heat it up a little bit. Put one more hole. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, there you go. Got a cup. Plastic cup, this can be anything. This could be a, a number 10 can. It can be, uh, I'm gonna turn this fire off. It could be any container that doesn't have a hole in it. And then you just have to have a lid, like a, if you have a number 10 can, then you would take something like this, take a, a pie, pie tin, Put a number 10 can in there with some holes around it. And you'd have a water, an automatic water for a long time for your animals, your chickens or whatever you have in there. Okay, let me show you how this works. Turn this around. Use the kitchen sink. Okay, there we go. All right. We're just gonna fill this up with water. That's the water, put the lid on it. Turn it upside down. There you go. Okay, there it is. Now let me take this out of this holder here and show you here that water will stay right in there and it'll stay to the level that you have those holes so if you want want it to be deeper then you just make those holes higher but right now there's enough enough in there for the little chicks to peck in there get their water I'm going to show you how I made a little brooding pen for my baby chicks that I've got. I just hatched two new chicks, so I'm going to show you what I did to make a little cage for them that will be able to keep them warm, and uh, I can put a whole bunch in there. I've got about three dozen eggs in the incubator, so here's what I did. Let me show you here what I've got, and I'll explain it to you. Here is a, just a wire cage. A regular old wire cage and I put an old grain sack over the top to sort of hold the heat in and then I took just a regular old uh, floodlight you know what you have with the metal cover around it and then I went to the store and bought a heat lamp and so here's my thermometer 
the chicks won't want to be real close to it, but at least they will stay, they can stay warm anywhere in that cage. And I might have to put the light a little bit higher. And then I have a, a little container here. I'm gonna just pour water in it. And then I have, <clears throat> I'm gonna put food, food in here. This is the one gonna fill that jar with uh, food. And then I have this water container here I made. So I'm gonna fill this cup with water. Fill that cup with water. Go out here. And um, all you do, Okay, fill that cup with water, then you put this lid on it. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but you take that and just turn it over. Now they'll have to drink a full, full cup of water, because they have little holes in the bottom, and so I made my a little water there. Get it in here. Put that, put that little water in the corner so the chicks can get water. Now we'll fill the, fill this with food. 